This is Mike from TabariOutpost.com. In this session of Photoshop Tips for Comic Book Art, I'm going to show you how to add text to your comic book panels using Photoshop's text tool. The first thing we're going to do is bring up an inked comic book page. And you can see here that I've already hand lettered the text, but I don't really like the way it looks. It looks a little messy and uh, all my lines aren't straight. So I'm going, to use, I'm going to use Photoshop to replace the text. For the purposes of this video, I've isolated this panel here. So let's click on that. And you can see here that I have a black lines layer, which has all my line work on it, and a white background layer. I'm going to create a new layer above my black lines layer, which I'm going to call white cover. Let's zoom in on this word balloon here. Using my marquee tool, I'm just going to cover this up. I can add to the selection by selecting this button up here. So I can have multiple marquees and cover all the text in this balloon. Now using the paint bucket and selecting white paint, I can click in the box and fill that in. The reason I cover that up instead of erasing it is because I can just slide the opacity lever and I can read the text beneath while I'm typing the new text in. Let's add another layer above the white cover layer and this will be our text layer. The text layer will rename itself as we type using the text tool. Select the text tool from the tool palette over here. Now there's a few settings you can worry about. Select your font from this pull down. You can have regular or bold text from this pull down. You can select an appropriate font size from this pull down. 12 point should work well for here. And then over here, you can select your justification left, center, or right. For this balloon, we'll, check, we'll select center. Now, we're using the text tool here, I'm just going to click and drag. And then I, my text will be in this box here. And again, it's centered. So I'm just going to go ahead and type this in. Now, as you can see, it's a little high in this balloon. By selecting the Move tool, I can just use my arrow keys to move that into place. Now going back to my white cover layer, I can slide it back to 100, and now my new text is in place, and it looks good. And that's how you add text to your comic book panels. I can go ahead and do that for all this other text, and on the full page, all of this text too. It just makes the book easier to read, and it looks much nicer. On the other hand, if you have great lettering, you don't need this video. Thank you for watching this comic book Photoshop tutorial. For information on my ebook, How to Create and Publish Your Own Comic Book, for information on Spectre Comics, or more Photoshop comic book video tips, visit tabariaoutpost.com.